Friday Night Funkin' has evolved a lot from its originally standalone port. We have seen the additions of thousands of mods in over a year, and with these mods comes with some of the best features and mod mechanics that we've ever seen. Today we'll be going over the best FNF mods that have these insane features and takes the game to a whole new level in no particular order, so make sure you smash that like and subscribe, especially if you want some of these features in other games such as Roblox Funky Friday and stay up with the content, let's get right into it. Number 1 versus Tricky Alright, we have to go back in time for this one. With Versus Tricky being the most popular mod ever made, most of you guys probably know about Tricky Phase 3's Hurt Notes. These are flaming notes that the player has to dodge or else they will be burned and take damage. This was then followed by Expurgation, an extra bonus song which featured the infamous black halo notes that instantly resets you the second you hit one. The song also features other obstacles such as distracting stop signs and even a mini version of Tricky stealing your health too. The Tricky mod was one of the first mods to pioneer such a game changing feature which is why we have to mention it. It has single handedly started a whole new revolution of mods which also incorporated the same hurt note slash death note mechanics such as the whole Pibby mod craze a couple months ago as well. Well done Tricky. Number 2 Hypnose Lullaby this one is sure to appeal to those, especially who are big fans of the original Pokemon games, but Hypno's Lullaby definitely has one of the craziest and best mod mechanics ever seen within the community. The first song is relatively tame, but it is in Left Unchecked is when things start to heat up. A pendulum is introduced where you have to press the space bar to the beat of the song. Otherwise, Hypno will slowly fade in and cause you to lose. You have to do this while playing with the notes too, which is the ultimate test of multitasking. Huh? Things don't end there though. Monochrome has a new mechanic where in between verses with gold, you have to understand the unknown alphabet from Pokemon and into the response in time before the time expires. If you're too slow or don't understand the alphabet, it's game over. The Missing Notes song also has this mechanic as well as shuffling the position of your notes all over the place, which just makes things harder. But overall, Hypnos Lullaby was such a big hit due to these game changing features. Number 3 versus Matt Boxing Most of you guys already know about Matt from Wii Sports, right? He also has his own FNF mod, which was simply versus Matt, developed by Slayer as well. But did you know that there was a fan-made mod that literally took the songs and changed Friday Night Funkin' into something totally different? Well, meet Matt Boxing. In this one, you're not rap battling, you're actually legitimately boxing against Matt, and you can actually take damage as well. They have a whole tutorial made for the mod, and apparently different colored notes each do something different such as orange notes removing the shield and blue notes gain you an extra hitbox for the shield. If you miss a note, Matt can punch you and hurt you so you have to learn how to dodge and once your stamina bar is full, you can get some pretty insane perks as well. This was a fan main mod, but it was one of the first FNF mods to really change the gameplay of the game and show what mod creators are capable of as well if they put their imagination to it. Number 4, Funk Makes Big Boo Here's a mod that is severely underrated and you most likely haven't heard of. The Versus Big Boo song from the Super Mario Bros. Funk Mix mod. In this one, the boyfriend goes up against a giant boo, but as you can see, with no notes falling down, you can actually control and move the boyfriend in order to dodge hazards coming your way. Essentially, you're playing two games in one. Regular FNF with the music and notes coming down, and then you have to also play a mini game in between, dodging the fire cannons. You can even collect power ups in order to take an extra hit, just like in the original Super Mario with the mushroom or fire plant. It's just an extremely underrated mod that has some crazy mechanics more people need to play and enjoy. Number 5 Five Nights at Treasure Island. 
Okay, now we're getting into the crazier FNF mods with some insane features. Five Nights at Treasure Island, but the FNF Mod Edition. This is inspired from Five Nights at Freddy's, but with Disney characters. The boyfriend has to last overnight through the night shift as a security guard, but all kinds of Disney puppet characters try to ambush him. Your weapons of use is a light switch, a camera equipped with a battery percentage, or you can just hold your breath as well. Each character requires a different action in order to make them go away, so you have to understand their positioning in order to progress. Oh, and did I mention that you have to play the song while dodging all the characters as well? If you don't, you risk losing power and will ultimately get caught before your shift is over. This is the closest version to Five Nights at Freddy's we can currently get in FNF, so make sure you check this one out. Number 6, The Holiday Mod. Ah yes, the good old times of celebrating Christmas. The holiday mod from FNF also celebrated a unique gameplay concept that was not widely used during this time as well. Most of the songs from the mod were cool as you versed against other characters from notable mods in the past, but it's in the Xanta song where things get spicy. Shoot! <laughs> you idiot, you shot the wrong Santa. Yeah, that's right. No more FNF arrows in this one. This song introduces the Taiko no Tatsujin game mode where you have red and blue circle notes in both sizes. You have to press a certain button for each color, and if they are both big, you have to press both the blue and red note buttons. This mode is famous for the Taiko game on the Wii, which is where this mode originates from. We also can't forget about the missile notes and demolition, but what's more special is the shooting mechanic Pico does trying to shoot down Santa. To slay. You need your mouse in order to aim, and this was a crazy surprise. The holiday mod definitely had some crazy mechanics and features. Number 7 versus Werewolf. Again, another very underrated mod that definitely should be talked about more is the Versus Werewolf Full Week mod. The first couple songs are pretty ordinary, but they do feature a great beat and awesome vocals for the werewolf. But it's not until the last two songs where things elevate to the next level. In Rejoice, a new mechanic is introduced which features a meter. This meter, as Community Game explains, fills up every time you get an okay, bad, or miss a note. If it fills up, there will be a claw effect on the screen where the boyfriend loses some HP. That's right, you have to get 6 in order to not get punished in this one, which is absolutely hard. The secret song Barkolak also has this feature as well with some insane charting. This mechanic is strictly made for pros, so do keep that in mind. Those are some FNF mods with some of the best mechanics and features we've ever seen in the community. Which one was your favorite and do you know any other mods we should know about? Let us know in the comments down below. Smash that like and subscribe, especially if you want these in Roblox FNF games. Use Starcode Attack if you play Roblox and we'll see you all on the next one.